two days ago. Two days What's ago? up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got to change out of G gear real quick and hop into a uh, Haitian drift car. I know I keep saying it every time that, oh yeah, he's going to make it to this round. But guess what? Final time he's making it to this round of Clutch Kickers, which is round two. Um, he ain't got nothing planned, but I do have to make sure you make it there. Look, it's so serious that his tire is already here. The front tires, but they're here. So let's dive straight into his drift car and get it back up and drifting again. Let's go. All right, so all those millions of dollars he had piled up in boxes is finally starting to come out of boxes and go in the car. Brand new GSR, G-Force, GSR, Force, G-Force, Force. Got Nick here on the job, you know, always monstered up. Night shift about to begin. New ceiling, engines in the car. About to get the clutch on. Get the tranny back in there finally. I don't know. We just finna do as much as we can, you know. Right? Yeah. As so, always. So you can make it. And I'm gonna do a lot of uh, I'm gonna do a lot of recording of work because you know you guys in the comment keep telling me we we don't show enough work. But y'all know it actually takes work for them cars to run, right? We had to put a new input shaft in uh, Haitian's tranny because, you know, we got to make it work with the, um, you know, KA thingies. So it's the RB conversion from uh, RTS. It gives you a, a different input shaft. It's actually longer. That just looks longer because it's not in there. Nick took forever to put it in. So it's dark now and mosquitoes are biting it and I'm hungry. So we're going to try to put it in real quick and then we can eat some pizza because we just got some pizza. So Haitian, we're making progress, bro. And then, and then hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Haitian, bro, what's up with these mounds, bro? Yeah, Jeez, y'all see the mounts, man? Oh, wow. It's okay, I ordered some new GK Tech ones for that, but we're making progress. And just in case y'all want to know, is she right here? You know, she's just hanging out with us real quick. They don't want to know. Yeah, they do, they do. They love that car. So yeah, we didn't get too far. The tranny's in and we bled the clutch. And we're kind of calling it quits for tonight. Nick started drinking, so y'all see Nick be drinking on the job, so that's why he can't get nothing done. So, I guess we'll just call it a night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll continue this build. Hello. All right, day two, Haitian car. We did some moving around. Nick's here. He's getting the fuel system going. He's gonna get the pumps on. All set up in the surge tank. So what's up, Nick? What's up, man? Day two of this madness. You know, just trying to help out doing what day shift can't do. Yeah, oh dang, dang. I hope they I hope they should see this man. We, we are night shift out here. Thank God I'm on both shift man, so they can't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? So uh you feel like Haitian's gonna make it? Uh he ain't got no option. Alright, he ain't got no option. I like that answer. So uh see my boys here. Y'all see where the wheels are on yesterday. Um for the most part I did the harness earlier today. Um I just gotta finish up a couple more things. This is one of those uh Haltech eight foot universal harness. Um, I just kind of route everything everywhere and I leave it off with no end so I can loom it. Uh, so the next step will be to loom, put connectors, cam and crank. I made one big old janky one right here so we can do, uh, if you ever decide to go up to a six cylinder, I put six coils and six injectors just in case and I'll put connectors on them and just wire four. So if he does decide you want to go to Six of them to life and join us, RB gang. You can. Um, but yeah, we in full swing again tonight on this bad boy. We're going to get it done. Got a little bit more wiring. I got wired the pedal um, and all the power wires. The battery. All right, I can't see a little. I got a lot. So let's get to it. All righty, so this is a wild weekend. Uh, I got a lot done in Haitian car. Uh, the camera didn't get a lot done, but I got a lot done. Um, I'm gonna update y'all real quick, and then hopefully tonight we can have this thing started because it's Monday and we leave Friday and this thing's never run. So, uh, I've been getting
No, I'm done. Let me show y'all where we at. All right, so last thing you guys saw was Nick doing the uh, fuel setup, which that's all in there. I just got to make a filler neck. The lines are ran. The power wires are ran out here. I just got to make a ground harness. Uh, fan wires are ran. Uh, brake lights wires are ran. So pretty much 90% of the wiring is actually really, really done. Um, I also got the... Uh, all the fuel pump relays back here, the fan relay, and a little fuse box back here. So we got a little section that we can get to real easy, the water pump. Then we have a 100 amp breaker from the battery. Um, so that way if anything ever goes and the car, you know, catches a fire or uh, something shorts out, it'll trip the 100 amp breaker. And move to the front where we has the, uh, the, the main panel with the ECU and all the Haltech goodies. Um, Everything's pretty much wired, like uh, it cranks over and everything. Um, I'm just finished buttoning up all the little ends with connectors and stuff now. So as you can see right now, right here, I have, uh, I'm going to do the uh, wire harness for the coils. And I got a wire harness for the injectors. And then I got cam and crank sensor to wire. And then we should be good to fire it up tonight, hopefully. Um, what I also said, like I said in a couple of videos ago, is I'm a wired, so he, in case he switches to uh, inline six, we just have two connectors here with the extra outputs, so he can just go to a six cylinder. But uh, pressure sensors are wired, starters wired, wire for the alternators wired, oil lines wired. I mean oil line, oil pressure sensors wired. Uh, all the oil lines are ran. Um, if it starts tonight, tomorrow, all I'm gonna do is just deal with all the the cooling system stuff so that we can actually idle and break in a little bit and we can get over to this thing so um but we still waiting on dry shaft for the most part i wouldn't say we on track we are behind but uh we're almost there this is this is crunch time so i'm gonna get back to it and then i'll update you guys in a bit okay so we're almost ready to start and once again something came up i'm missing one of the nuts for this thing so I wouldn't be able to wire the last two sensors till I can fire it up right now, but I'll have to wait till tomorrow, but at least tomorrow we're there. Uh, I think we're fully ready to get the first start going and make sure everything is good. And then all I have is the cooling system and start putting panels on the car and a windshield. We're still looking for a windshield. So yeah, that's a bummer, but we'll have to call it a night on this thing. Uh, another good news, uh, my car came back from across the street from Richie and he went ahead and do the bar in the front for me. I don't know if you guys can see it under there. Uh, I'll show you guys tomorrow. And that intercooler now has fans, so hopefully that will help with our air temp problem we keep having with this car. So, I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we start this thing. All right, time to update in this video. We haven't really been updating. I was supposed to come back when it was first start, but it's been a headache. Um, I'm updating because, you know, I need a video to post for you guys. Uh, there's more headaches, like more bigger headaches. It's Wednesday night. I was trying to go take this thing down. Hopefully we can put it on a dyno. Nick even came back after going to get a haircut. Yes, sir. All just for Haitian. Just for Haitian. And then we, got, we, got, we go to change, do the first oil change, and we got some bad news. I mean, we got some real bad news. Um, that's the oil. Oh. So, we're thinking the head gasket's just leaking. Hopefully nothing's cracked. Uh, I'm scratching my head. I don't know what to do right now. We got like a day and like 12 hours maybe. Got stuff to do on that. We got some window switches on George car. We're supposed to try to help this guy get out there, but yeah it's just it's stressful dog so i don't know that's the update and the bad news we have a gasket which we shouldn't need a gasket we're just thinking maybe something's in the way it's not clamped down good i don't i don't know but it is running i get y'all a, a good old running video when we get to the good old running time but till then we gonna continue with our problems and i'll talk to you guys a little bit later in the video. 
All right, cool. So we're back. It's morning now. This thing has to come apart. Not a good time. We do leave tomorrow, and this thing haven't even been on the diner yet. So we're gonna go ham today. We're gonna get ham. By lunchtime, head gas could be off and done, fixed. Hopefully, we'll have it on diner. Dino, uh, then we'll align Friday morning after assembling all night tonight. So we're gonna get to it right now. anything like that's really really pointing out to exactly what it is um, but since this does have uh, RB26 head studs and o-rings and you have to modify the gasket a little bit like around these holes right here you have to modify them for the bigger dowel pins and stuff um, we're just gonna put a new head gasket on it double check everything I remodified it again and then I'll put probably a little bit of sealant just to make sure because Everything looked good, but I think just because it's so much modification going on, um, we could have slipped up a little bit and it was seeping past. Uh, I really think it's this one um, and going into the, the oil drain that's back here. So I, I felt like I was just sneaking into the gasket and running down. So we'll see. Um, this don't have too much oil drain spots for it to go. It's either in the front or the back. I really feel like it's in the back. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna start putting it back together now. You had a mic? No, I don't need a mic. I just talk loud enough. <laughs> here, this media guy over here telling me I don't got a mic, man. Uh, I know y'all can hear me loud and clear. <laughs> I talk loud enough. So the engine's back together, and this guy's just putting body panels on. The car's not even been tuned, not even aligned. Don't care about you just, that. You just start throwing parts on there, but it, it's looking good. It's looking like a car. Hey, I gotta at least show them that it runs. Uh, we had a, we fixed a little milkshake issue. We had, a, we had a first, hold on, hold on, watch. We got hella Harley Metzka all in the way and shit. Hold on. Oh. Do that right there. Make sure it's neutral and she should do fireworks. on the windshield but he going right I don't want to go no more. you don't want to go no more he said he said you're not going to seven unless you make 700 I'm gonna make 800 just because of that all right so actually after the last hectic five days we got the professional oil pour pouring the final oil change before we go to the the dyno yeah, I don't know why he laughing. Why you? Oh, look at it. He's sp spilling. Sp are you a professional oil oil pourer and you sp sp spilling the oil? I can't even believe this thing's about to happen. Look at this thing. This thing's looking like a dang car, and it's actually gonna make it to Dino. Y'all know Haitian was here, cause look. Damn, Stephen, what are you stealing, bro? <laughs> nah, he ain't stealing nothing. But come on, Haitian, come on. Anyways. We got some ties on there. We got everything working. We finna get the first drive over to the dyno. Y'all know we like to do first drive to the dyno. Still didn't get no But yeah, we in there. We in there. Yeah, we in there. You know what I'm saying? We in there. We got oil cooler mounted. I hooked them up with the monster spray paint because that shit was rusty. I know y'all see it in the last clip. Got the oil cooler on there. Yeah. Y'all ready? We going over to the dyno. It's so good to say we going over to the dyno and not heading to the dyno. It's a great time. Well, Great time. Hey man, what you got there, buddy? Yeah. What you got there, buddy? What I rightly deserve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where else she running? Got a little tapping noise up there, but she alright. Come on, man. Let's see how you gonna drive them gears tomorrow. Man, you... You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, we ain't worried about that till 
later. Come on, let's get to the dyno. This is really finna happen. Come on, move it to the dyno. First drive. First drive. Two years. Down, push it down. Stay just like that, yeah. Told you the cut's not that bad, straight. Now cut. You turn the boss turn on? That boy going to the dyno. Can y'all believe it? Hey, this history right here, bro. Man, you talking all that is. Stay just like that, come on. Bank airs and shit. Straight, go back. Straight back. All right, now come forward. Can't go to clutch kickers without testing, baby. My man got the spots in this thing. In a cooler fan. Oh. You don't need it. Come on. Just hold it somewhere so it don't go slinging all over the place. We leave tomorrow. My guy don't have a windshield, but he's trying to go test drive. Go backwards, let's see. Go backwards. Do a little burnout, come on. Go back some more. All right, try it out. He gonna die. He gonna die. <laughs> Fast. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Why are you going so slow? It got thick. 
continues morning in the morning they got a door they got holes power they still don't have a glass they don't have a glass Asian 20 Red Bulls in his hair is about to grow back still doesn't have a glass struggle real bro please just make it around first do the top. You got glass over here. You got glass right there. You got a handle. Oh yeah, I was bolting up the handle. I'm gonna go back to bolting up the handle. I'm gonna stop messing with y'all. Struggle. Time's running out. Alright, so as per usual we're late. We got Haitian's car ready. We ended up having to make the exhaust today. I ended up changing my car to electronic power steering, but we loaded and we about to roll out. And uh, he's still loading, he's almost done but we'll be uh, on our way. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, it'll be the video about what happened at Clutch Finger.